Here we are in this beautiful place. It's a perfect backdrop for a special day. As most of you are aware, it takes a group effort to put together a wedding. Everyone here signifies the love and support they have for Megan and Connor. Thank you also for Kevin and Marty for the rehearsal dinner yesterday. Your generosity and hospitality have truly made this occasion even more special. Thanks, it was awesome. Megan, you're more than I ever could have hoped for. You're beautiful beyond words. They say that the bond between a father and a daughter is incredibly special. And fathers set the standard by which their daughters judge all men. You, Connor, have met all the standards. You've exceeded those standards with your kindness, humility, and thoughtfulness. Amory and I feel immensely blessed that you and Megan found each other. Connor, I want to express my heartfelt gratitude for the happiness you have brought Megan. Connor truly, in every single way, is the perfect match for Meg. He confidently and determinedly swept Megan off her feet and gave her the love story she deserves. And I think we can all agree that she is looking absolutely stunning tonight. You know, you often hear a man say, I married up. You know, I'm married up. And Connor, you have, you know? Yeah, definitely married up, yeah. Now I venture to say that Megan feels the same way. She has fallen head over heels in love with you and it is evident that you are the man that she cannot imagine herself without. And I know you feel the same. All the hard work that you've put in to getting to this day, you know, it's been worth it. You pursued your passions and you balanced that time together to get here to this point. So my advice for you is to continue working on yourselves on into the future because that's worth it and you're going to have the best days ahead of you. Congratulations to Megan and Connor on finding the true love and may your journey together be filled with everlasting joy. Cheers. Good afternoon and welcome to this wedding celebration of the love of Megan and Connor. As we family and friends gather, we rejoice with them and pray with them and for them and for ourselves that we might all be renewed by their exchange of vows and their public commitment before God and all of us. The last breath of summer is blowing down our necks. Meg, you are as kind and genuine as they get. You have a smile that can light up a room and a zest for life that makes everyone want to be around you. I've loved watching you never turn down a challenge and somehow always keeping up with your three older siblings. And I've loved watching you constantly have to reach for things. And now you have Connor, someone else that loves you for all your larger than life traits. I like to refer to Connor as my not so little brother. However, on occasions like this, where you bring the Hart family into one room, height is really relative. And Connor, you're a little, you're a little under with me. Megan, I don't know where you fit in this. <laughs> one of the things I've always appreciated about Connor, and I think it's gotten enough attention, is the, the family that he's developed outside of our media family. I also appreciate Connor's quiet strength and humility. I'm gonna give it, give it a name. You know, I like that. And also his blue eyes. I don't think they get enough attention, right? Congrats to the newlyweds and first time home buyers, Megan. You've always been a beautiful person, both inside and out. The support and love you show her for exactly who she is, is more than I could ever hope for for my sister. I could never fully express how much that means to me, Connor. You fit so well in our family. These are glasses to the pursuit of family and friends and also to the continual pursuit of happiness. Congratulations, love you, cheers.
Megan and Connor, thank you for inviting me to be part of your big day. And I think you're very well suited. And I know that you come from excellent families and you have many, many friends who love you as well. You're surrounded by love right now. Of all the different qualities, Megan, I think on the Spagnolo side, it's all about hospitality, trying to make people feel welcome and part of the family table and part of whatever is happening. On the heart side, we could talk about lots of things. We could talk about your lineage of sports, and uh, we could also talk about cutting down trees and uh, being uh, the chief arborist of our neighborhood. But one of the things that's always been true of the hearts is a very deep commitment of faith that I've always seen in every one of the family, a desire to be of service to others. We're bringing together two very good families, wonderful commitment to wanting to share life together. She's uh, our youngest. So she's the baby. She's the baby. Is she the last one to go? No, my older son's not married yet. He's getting married next year. Okay. A year from now. You guys are gonna be pros at this. By yeah. <laughs> well, the boys are so much easier. Boys are so many, girls are, it tugs at your heart as a father. I hear you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> wow, wowie wow. You're gonna make me cry. Looks absolutely stunning. Stunning, yes. I love you. Love you more. Oh. I, Connor, take you, Megan, to be my wife. I, Megan, take you, Connor, to be my husband. I promise to be faithful to you. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. I will love you and honor you. All the days of my life. I have the honor to present our newly married couple, Megan and Connor Hart. thank our parents. This is a beautiful night. We also wanted to thank all of you for traveling near and far. And lastly, I want to thank my beautiful wife, Megan, for, for giving me a sense of purpose and joy that I never knew existed. And I love you from the bottom of my heart. All right, now that all the sappiness is out of the way, let's... Let's party. Yes. Yeah.